Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. In the last lecture, we have seen that NAND gate is universal gate. So, if you have NAND gate, then you can implement any digital circuit. Now, in this lecture, we will see that NOR gate is also universal gate. So, basically, using NOR gate, we can implement any any digital circuit. We can implement using NOR gate. So, basically, the benefit. What is the benefit? The benefit is that you only have to manufacture NOR gate. So if you only manufacture NOR gate, NOR gate, let's assume you have a company and that company manufactures NOR gate, then using these NOR gates, we can implement any digital circuit. Okay, we can realize any Boolean expression, we can realize any Boolean function using only the NOR gates. So that's why we can say NOR gate is a universal gate. And how can we prove it? The proof is very simple. First of all, let's see what is NOR. Okay, so what is NOR? Means A NOR B. The symbol is this. This is the symbol we have down arrow. So this down arrow symbol we have for NOR and what is this? This is A or B NOT. So remember NOR means basically NOR means that is not of OR. That is not of OR. So it means first to do OR then you do NOT. So you can notice A NOR B that is nothing but A or B NOT. Okay. So this is your NOT. Uh, this is your NOR operation. Now let us see that this NOR operation is functionally complete. What I can say? I can say that this NOR operation. Okay, this NOR operation, this is a functionally complete. So it means that using this operation, you can create any other operation. Okay, you can create NOT operation, you can create AND, you can create OR, any other operation you can create from NOR operation. So how, how can we do that? Let us see, let us see how can we create NOT operation from NOR operation. Okay, so basically what we, what I want to create, I want to create A, A NOT. Okay, NOT of A I want to create. But what I have... I only have NOR operation. So what I can do? Very simple. I can do A NOR A. What is A NOR A? A NOR A is A complement. Okay. So this is the idea. So basically using NOR, if, if you have this NOR operation, then you can create NOT. Okay. If, if, you, cre if you want to create alpha NOT, then what you can do? You can create alpha NOR alpha. What is this? This is alpha or alpha whole complement and that is your alpha complement. So this is the idea. So we can create NOT operation from NOR operation. Okay. Let us see how can we create OR operation from NOT operation. NOR operation. So what we want to create? We want to create A or B. So we want to write this uh, this A or B. This is what we want to write but using NOR operation. So we only have NOR operation. How can we do it? So the idea is very simple that basically what we can do? We can do A. Uh, we can do this. I can do that. A nor B, okay, A nor B, nor A nor B. What is this? Let us check it out. Okay, let us check it out. What is this? See, what is A nor B? A nor B means A or B whole complement. Nor, what is this? This is your A or B whole complement. Finally, this is your nor operation. So finally, what is this? This is your A or B whole complement or A or B whole complement or okay, whole complement. Now this is nothing but A or B whole complement whole complement and that is A or B. So this is the idea. So I can say that if you want to create OR operation, if you want to create alpha or beta, then what you can do? Very simple. You can do alpha nor beta nor alpha nor beta. So this is the idea for alpha or beta. Okay. Similarly, you can create AND operation also you can create. Okay. How can we create AND operation from NOR operation? So we want to create alpha, we want to create AB. This is what we want to create. This expression, this is the expression you can notice. In this expression, we are using AND operation, A and B. Now we want to write this expression using NOR operation only. No other operation we want to use, only this NOR operation we want to use. Then how can we write it? Very simple point, what we can do? We can write that A, see, okay, what is this actually? Okay, let's see. What is this? This is A, A bar. Or, okay, so this is, okay, both are same. Using De Morgan formula, you can notice AB means A bar or B bar, whole bar. Now, what is this uh, A bar? A bar means A, okay, this is your A bar. This is your A bar. Now, you can notice this is A bar and this is your B bar. Now, let us see this. Let us, let us see what is this expression. Okay, let us see whether this is correct or not. Now, you can notice that what is this? This is A bar. We already know this is A bar, nor we already know this is B bar. And what is this? This is A bar or B bar whole bar and that is AB. So you can notice that AB I can write like this. So this is the final point. 
so if you want a b then what you can do you can do a nor a nor b nor b this is your a b and what is a or b a or b is very simple this is a nor b nor a nor b this is your a or b and how can you do a complement that is a nor a that is a nor a okay so this is how using only nor operation okay you can notice only nor operation i am using using only nor operation we can implement we can create and we can create or we can create nor okay so finally i can say that nor operation this nor operation this set this is functionally complete set this is functionally complete set and i can say because this is functionally complete set so i can say this nor get is universal get this nor get this is basically universal get what it means universal get means this nor get is enough this is sufficient to implement any digital circuit any digital circuit you can realize using nor get okay so you can you can notice that for example this is a digital circuit okay you can notice this is your inverter now can we can we realize this inverter using nor get very simple so if you have nor so let us assume you have this nor this is your nor and what i can do very simple i can do that just give it a just give it a okay just give it a so finally what it will give you it will give you a complement okay so you can notice that this inverter okay so this no this not get this is your not get this not get i can realize using nor get this is the nor get you can notice this is the nor get so using nor get i can realize not get similarly i can realize the or get this or get also i can realize very easily i can realize this or get this is your or get and this or get we can realize using nor get how can we realize very simple what i can do that okay just give it a comma b so it will give you a or b not but what we want we want a or b then what you do you can again apply this to another nor get so what finally we will get finally we will get a or b okay so you can notice that if you want to okay i can finally say that to realize not get we need only one nor get so only one nor get we need to realize not get but if you if i want to realize or get then how many not get i require i require two nor get so two nor get are required to realize the or get to implement the or get now let us check out let us check out and get so this and get we have this is our and get and let us see how can we realize this and get using nor get only okay so no other thing i can use i can only use nor get let's assume i only have nor get then how can i use so the idea is very simple that what you do so this is a and first what you generate you generate a complement similarly you generate b complement this will generate b complement now you have a complement b complement then again what you do then again you give to nor what you will get you will get a complement or b complement whole complement which is equal to ab so this is the idea so you can notice the and gate i can realize this and gate i can realize using three nor gate so i need three nor gate to realize and and gate but the idea is very simple that any digital circuit okay not get or get okay uh, and get any digital circuit i can implement using nor get only so finally i can say nor get is universal get because using nor get i can implement i can realize any digital circuit so i can say nor operation this is a functionally complete set in boolean algebra using this nor operation i can implement any boolean function so if you give me any boolean function that boolean function we can express only using nor get only using nor operation okay so this is the idea now let's see this question so this is a msq uh, mcq question and the question is asking which set of equation prove that nor is functionally complete okay so four options are given to you and the question is asking which of these options prove that nor is functionally complete now you can notice how can we prove that nor is functionally complete if you want to prove that nor is functionally complete then what you have to do so this nor operation this nor operation is functionally complete how can you prove so this nor operation will be functionally complete if you can if you can create a functionally complete set from this nor operation for example if you can create or comma not okay from this nor operation from this nor operation if we can create or operation if we can create no not operation if both of them we can create then we already know this is functionally complete this we have seen in the last lecture then then we can say that nor operation is also functionally complete or what i can do or what i can do 
from this nor operation i can i can create and comma not so if i can create and comma not then i can say that this nor operation is functionally complete okay so any of them you can do because in the last lecture we have seen that this set is functionally complete similarly this set of operations is also functionally complete so let's see so four options are given to you you can notice in the option a in the option a uh, or is implemented using nor similarly this not is implemented using nor okay so i can say that in this function in this option a what we have done using nor operation using this nor operation using this nor operation we have created we have realized we have implemented or operation and not operation so basically this is the this is the proof that nor operation is functionally complete so this is correct okay so this option a this option a proves this is the proof this option a is the proof that nor operation is functionally complete okay remember option c is not the proof okay similarly option d is not the proof because you can notice this and comma or this is not functionally complete this we will see in the next next lecture we will see and comma or this is set this is set is not functionally complete this we will see in the next lecture okay is not functionally complete so you can notice that this option d is not correct why because in this option d using nor operation we are creating or comma and but or comma and that is not functionally complete okay so that is the reason option d is not correct option a is correct because in the option a using nor operation we have created or operation comma not operation and we already know that or comma not that is functionally complete so that is the reason option a is correct okay and so i can say option uh, c d b these are not correct only option a is correct okay so this is the idea now in the next lecture we will see some guidelines okay if you okay so these are the standard operations so far all the functionally complete set that we have seen all of them are standard so far okay but in the gate exam in any exam okay they can give you any set of operations any set of functions they can give you and they can ask you is this set of functions is this set of operations functionally complete okay so how can we find it so in the next lecture we will see some easy guidelines okay and using those guidelines you will be able to solve any any question you will be able to solve very easily okay so okay. thank you everyone